Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to detect the stop button. So if I click the green flag, you can see that it says green flag. And then if I click the stop button, it says stop sign. And then I can keep doing that back and forth. So click start, stop, start, stop. And the best part about this is it's actually pretty simple to make. This can be useful for showing a thumbnail in your game when somebody presses the stop button. For instance, my jumpy chicken game, if I go ahead and press stop, the thumbnail smoothly slides onto the screen. So that is one way you could use this. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing and also drop a comment down below for more scratch tutorials. But anyway, let's get coding. We already have a block that is when green flag clicked. That's how we could detect when the flag is clicked. For instance, right now the costume is stop, but if we when green flag clicked, switch costume to flag. When we click the green flag, well, it switches to that. But there is no block if we look through here, there's no such thing as a when stop clicked. How would we even do this? We can't just do like an if statement because as soon as we click stop, it cuts out all of these forever loops. The way we can do this is by using these when blocks because these blocks will work even if we press the stop button. For instance, if we do when key space press switch costume to stop and we go ahead and stop this project and then press space, it still switch to that space even though the project isn't even running. Then on top of this, if you notice, the timer never ever stops. It resets when we press the green flag, but it will never stop even if we press the stop button. By combining these when and then the timer, we can actually use that to our advantage to detect when we press the stop button. So I'm going to stop jabbering on about that and let's actually make it. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is make a variable called timer and this can be for all sprites and now click OK. So now we have a nice timer variable. Pull out a when green flag clicked. So that is when we click the flag and start this project. Next we are going to want to set the timer to the actual blue timer. So now when we start you can see that it will set it once the first frame is done so that is why it's like 0.032 because that is the time of our frame. Now all we need to do is pull out a forever loop and put that over that. Now you should see that when we start this project our variable timer is always equal to the actual timer. So here's where the magic comes in. If we press stop right now watch both timers. The variable timer stops because this is in a when green flag clicked. So that means that this forever loop gets cut off, but the actual timer doesn't stop. So what you're going to want to do is go to events and pull out a win because remember these can run anytime even after we've stopped the project. Then you're going to want to do when timer is greater than and you can go ahead and do greater than timer. Now it's going to detect when this timer right here, the blue one, is greater than the variable timer. Timer. So while the project is running, it's equal to it, so this will never run. But when we stop it, this timer keeps going, so it is greater than the variable timer. This is basically a when stop sign click. But there's one last thing. This can once in a while bug out and run this in the very beginning because these don't sync for the very first frame. So how you can fix this is just do timer plus 0.01. That way it's a little bit behind. But now this right here is a when stop pressed. How we can test this is in the very beginning we can say hello and then in this when timer we can say one two three four five. So now when we start it says hello and when we press stop boom, it says one, two, three, four, five. And when you start over, it says hello. And then one, two, three, four, five. So you can see that this is functioning properly. I hope that I explained that okay. So you can actually understand why this works because I think it's actually really cool. There's tons of uses for this. In the beginning of the video, I just had a simple loop that said green flag or stop sign when you press them. And of course I had them switch costume to the right one. So if it's over here, it switches costume to stop. But if it's this one, it switches to flag. So now when you stop it, it'll switch to a stop sign, but that's not really that useful. So I'm going to show you how you can make this super useful. Delete all these blocks, and I'm going to go ahead and make a thumbnail costume real quick. <laughs> Okay, so I have a simple thumbnail and our stop script. In the very beginning, we want to do when green flag clicked hide. So that means that this would be like your game. So wahoo, I'm playing. Then in the when timer is greater than timer plus 0.1. So that's the when stop clicked. You could do show and then go to front. So now when you stop, it'll show your thumbnail. But let's give this some more fanciness. So what we can do is make this slide onto the screen. So first pull out a set Y2 and go ahead and set 
set this to 100. So now when we start it, it's going to kind of be up here. So how do we make this smoothly slide on? That is actually really simple. Pull out a repeat 10 times, duplicate the set right here and put that in the repeat loop. Now all you need to do is go to motion and pull out a Y position. Now pull out a divided by and then Y position divided by two and put that in the set Y2. So that'll just make it slide to zero, zero. So now you can see that, yay, this is our game. And then when we press stop, look at that, the thumbnail slides on. So that's a way you can use that and make it look good. Another good use for this is you could even use the same script as the one before and just have it when you stop, it says, thanks for playing. Please leave a favorite and a love. That is another one you could do. And you can attach any script to this win timer greater than. You could do a switch costume, a change size by, it does not really matter. And that's why it's super awesome. So I hope this video helped you out in detecting a stop sign. If it did, then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. But anyway, this has been Owen and I am out. Thank you.